This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are two drawing spaces in each AutoCAD file. They are model space and paper space. Paper space was introduced in AutoCAD 11. AutoCAD 2010 is the 24th release of AutoCAD. So you can see that paper space has been around for a long time. Even though paper space has been around since 1990 when R11 was released, it still causes trouble for many users. That's why I'm going to try to ease you into the concepts, give you a bit of an introduction to it right now, and later on go into greater detail. Understanding the purpose of each drawing space is a very fundamental need when you create your drawings in AutoCAD. For now, let's keep it simple. Model space is where your drawing objects go. Your lines, your arcs, your circles. And paper space is where your paper objects go. Your drawing border, your title block, north arrows, notes, dimensions, etc. If you were to create a drawing with pencil and paper, you would start off by defining your border and title block so you know where to draw. Then you put your objects inside that. AutoCAD works in reverse. You create your drawing objects or your model in model space. Then you switch to paper space and add all of your drawing borders and title blocks and information that belong with a drawing. Paper space is also, as I said earlier, where you will annotate your drawing, especially if you're going to create multiple sheets in one file. You can always add text and dimensions in model space, but again, I recommend putting them in paper space. There can only be one model space tab, as you see right here, and it will always be called model. You cannot rename it in any given file. But you can have as many paper space tabs in your file as you need. Very simple to add new ones. Right click on it, new layout. And now we have two drawings to go with our model. It's a good idea to limit the amount of paper space tabs that you have in your file. If you have to scroll through the paper space tabs to see all of them, you probably have too many. When you approach drawing in AutoCAD, think of your line work as the data in a database. That data belongs in model space, where you can access it. There the data is generic and raw, but paper space is where you will display it visually. You will reference the data through the viewport and then annotate it. Your viewport is a sort of window to your model space. This rectangular box is a viewport. The viewport is your window to model space. The viewport has certain visual properties and display parameters that will cause the model to appear a certain way. We can make all sorts of changes to it. We can change some of these colors and lines to be uniquely displayed in this specific viewport. One of the biggest benefits to annotating in paper space is that you can create multiple viewports in one tab. In model space, you only get one shot at making your drawing. You can only have one view. Many drawings need more than one view of the object to create a drawing. So you can get more done with paper space than you can model space. 